Welcome everyone. My name is Stephanie, founder of Apex Languages in association with Gapanova School, and this is Weekly Wordplay. Today we'll be discussing three terms, indigenous, indignant, and Indian giver. Sorry, tough break Columbus, you selfish murderous idiot, but for the first time since 1934, Columbus Day has been officially passed over by the President of the United States in favor of a new national holiday, Indigenous Peoples Day. Well, it's not exactly new. The idea to officially set aside a day to honor the history and culture of Native Americans has been around since 1977, gradually gaining popularity, particularly during the last few years. The wait is finally over, though. In Joe Biden's words, for generations, federal policies systematically sought to assimilate and displace Native people and eradicate Native cultures. We recognize Indigenous peoples' resilience and strength, as well as the immeasurable positive impact that they have made on every aspect of American society. But what does Indigenous mean? First, Practice repeating after me. Indigenous. This is an adjective from late Latin, indu gingere, born or beget in a place. Therefore, it should be no surprise that it is usually used to refer to the earliest people of an area, the natives. More generally, it can also refer to anyone or anything that comes from or is characteristic of that area. So, you could come across a sentence like this, indigenous groups of modern-day Russia, like the Enets and Oroks, only make up about 0.2% of the population, or a sentence like this, plants indigenous to our area are at great risk due to foreign invasive species. Indigenous does not have to refer only to humans, and you can also use the word both before a noun, like a traditional adjective, or afterward with to as your preposition. You don't have to search much further down in the dictionary for our next word, indignant, but don't assume that the two are intimately related. First, repeat after me again, indignant. This adjective also comes from Latin, but includes a different in prefix. Be very careful with words like this because sometimes the in stands conveniently for in, but other times it means not, just like un does. And so you end up with a word that actually has the complete opposite meaning. Tricky, tricky. In this case, indignant originally meant not worthy as in you deem something not worthy of your time and as a result, you act impatient, reluctant, or even angry if you still have to deal with it. Nowadays, it just kept the angry meaning mostly, an offended kind of angry. For example, this is the indignant expression of someone from the country of India learning that we also call our Native Americans Indians, or Native groups have always been indignant about the praise heaped upon Columbus for discovering a land they already owned and then stealing it from them. Indignant can include real rage, but it tends to describe the type that people keep bottled up inside, smoldering, powerful, but quiet. One more less politically packed example is my son threw a fit, indignant he had to wash the dishes. Finally, I leave you with an idiom, Indian giver. This is used as a name for someone who gives you a gift, but then changes their mind and wants you to give it back later. For example, you already gave me the dress. You can't take it back, you Indian giver. As you can imagine, it's meant to be at least mildly insulting to the person in question, but it's also considered politically incorrect nowadays because it insults all Native Americans at the same time. Ironically, it wasn't the Indians who kept changing the rules so they could steal more and more land. 
So I'd officially advise against using this, although it's always good to know what a term means in case someone decides to use it against you. Unfortunately, there are no good equivalents for this useful phrase in English. Reneger from the word reneg is probably the best option because it means someone who goes back on a previous promise or commitment. However, if misheard, this word could insult an entirely different group of people. The modern phrase regifter is a related, albeit distinct kind of insult. It is used for people who, having received a present they don't really like, pass it on as a gift to someone else. Now it's time for practice. In the comments below, use the vocabulary to share your thoughts about which holiday you would rather celebrate, Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day. You're always welcome to disagree with me, and it's okay to be indignant, but also be respectful, of course. Thanks for watching.